Hi friends, I'm LJ Jarvis, and welcome back to Lewis Jarvis Show. Recently, I actually finished Farsight's second book, and I would be honest, it's a great read, and I'm really hoping there's a third book. Now, I can go on and on about how much I like this book, and do a sort of video about me why I like these books, and perhaps sharing my ideas about what they could do for the third book. An idea has crossed my mind being that sometime we'll be getting the new Tau Codex for 9th edition, and I'm actually quite interested in what Games Workshop could do for this army, because after all, they're up there in my favorite factions within Warhammer 40k. And the curiosity is, what are they going to do? Like, what are they going to do for the Tau within 9th edition? Are they going to add new stuff like they've done for the Oryx, Necrons, and Scissors of Battle? Or are they going to do like just one character model for the faction? Like what we've seen with the Drukari and the Mechanicus. However, I do have a sort of proposition. A proposition of what I think could be a really cool thing for Games Workshop to do. An idea that I have in mind and what Games Workshop could do to spice up the army in a way. Now this isn't a video about the entire Tao Empire, you know, I've already done a video like that already. But rather, this is about the Farsight Enclaves, a little sub-faction within the Tao Empire that I think that they could do something really cool with. Something that I think could make the Tao Empire even more exciting. Now these are just my ideas, and at the end I would like to hear your ideas in the comments down below this video. So of course, what they could do is a new model of Farsight. Of course, that would be something really cool to see. However, here's the thing. When Farsight's second model came out, I thought there would be a new model of him. But that wasn't the case. Yet I think, I think he'll get a new model when his third book is out. Kind of like what they've done for Mephiston and Fabius Bile. You know, these characters had their own little book trilogy, and when a third book came out, there was a new model of them. So maybe it'll be the same thing with Farsight. But there is another Tau Commander that I think that they could make a model of that would be very cool to see. A sort of appetizer, you could say. That being that, how about a model of Commander Brightsword? Because after all, Farsight's not the only sword-wielding Tau Commander. If they were to do a model of Brightsword, I think that would be something cool to do for the Enclaves. Something to do if they wanted to spice up the Enclaves, yet aren't ready yet to release a new model of Farsight. So I think with Brightsword, again, I think he'll be a nice little appetizer. Yet there is another commander that I think that they could also make a model of that would also be fitting, and that being the Pyromaniac herself, Torchstar. Now, unlike characters like Brightsword, I have no experience with Torchstar, but I do know of her. And she's definitely a character that seems interesting, and a character who I would gladly read more about. Heck, perhaps he'll make an appearance in Farsight's third book, if they ever make it. I think if they were also to make a model of her, or if they had to choose between the eight commanders in Farsight's team to make a model of, but outside of Farsight himself, I think Torchstar would be a fitting place for them. And of course, another Tau female model would be something cool to have, outside of characters like Shao Sun. I think that would be something cool to do. But outside of commanders, outside of characters, if Games Workshop were to spice up the Enclaves like they've done with the Necron, Scissors, Battle, and Oryx within 9th edition, if they were to give the Enclaves like their own unique models, something to make them distinctive from the Tau Empire, I do have two ideas on what they could do. Now let's consider the Farsight Enclaves. They've been independent from the Tao Empire for centuries. And during that time, there would be a cultural difference. Because, you know, separation from the mainland of the Empire will cause civilizations to change. It will cause a quote-unquote province to form its own identity form its own culture. So with this in mind, I think that because there is a sort of hero worship for Commander Farsight himself, I think there'll be 
Pathfinder sort of Fire Warrior teams, in which they will carry, or at least their equivalent, with Samurai Swords. That'd be something unique to do. Something to sort of reflect on Commander Farsight. And my second idea, my second proposal of what they could do for the Farsight Enclaves, is that perhaps there are other crisis suits that also carry close combat weapons. Maybe these Tau within this enclave decide that they like these fusion blades from Commander Brightsword. And perhaps they mass distribute these sort of weapons amongst the rest of the Tau. Crisis suits that carry their own version of fusion blades. Again, not just because they think it works for Commander Brightsword, but because they want to follow in the image of Commander Farsight. Again, because of hero worship. They want to be like the commander. They want to be like this hero of the Enclave. But again, this is if Games Workshop is generous. I don't know what they're going to do for the Tau Empire for 9th edition. And they'll probably do nothing for the Farsight Enclaves. But at the end of the day, this was just a proposal. My proposal of something that they could do for the Enclaves. And at the end, I'd like to hear your ideas in the comments down below this video. What do you think Games Workshop could do for the Farsight Enclaves? Do you think my ideas could work? Or do you have your own ideas? Let me know in the comments down below. And with all said and done, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again next week with a brand new video. Have a good day guys. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to subscribe, then make sure to activate the bell notification button so you'll never miss an episode. And if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you again soon. Have a good one.